Oh, this is a um, a place that the ministry owns. Well, not own. We're we're in the process of buying that. Yeah, we don't. So own are it you yet. renting to buy, or are you? Yeah, we're leasing to buy. You have that as an asset of two point eight four four two million eight hundred forty four thousand five hundred. So do you own it? I just answered that, didn't I? I said we didn't own it. Okay, we're but where, to where buy does it. the? I'm sorry. We're leasing to buy it. Did, did you? I thought we just said that. All right. Do yeah. you have listed it as an asset worth two million eight hundred forty-four thousand oh, dollars? Oh, oh, that should be more of a liability. All right. So where does the number two million eight hundred forty-four thousand come from on your asset the and liability? Uh, that's I guess the appraisal value of the home or the residential center. That's Is it a home? No, it's a residential center. We use it. All right. So business. you're saying it's not something you own, but you have it listed as an asset of $2.8 million. That's probably a mistake. Like I said, it, it probably should be a liability. Okay. And what goes on at the residential center? It is a, um, it is a gathering place for our ministry where I bring in uh, different uh, leaders and also the staff that we have uh, as a place of, uh, you know, maybe um, resort. And well, this is for clothes concerning my TV ministry as well. We have to wait a little bit time. Um, it don't matter what name it is. The point is, clothing are allocated to us for ministry purposes as well. What do you mean they're allocated to you? You know, in a media ministry. In a what? Media ministry. Yeah. Okay, or on the road, when I'm always traveling and using my clothes, I'm sweating through them. So I'm needing new clothes also for television ministry. So, and so um, you used ministry money to buy your wardrobe. Outfit. Your it's outfit. called. It's allocated more towards uh, ministry um, apparel. Does that go into what your income is? I'm sorry. Do, do you show that in your income that you got Louis Vuitton clothing? No, that's not. That's that. That, that doesn't show because it don't go there. It don't go there. Mm -mm. I don't yeah. know what that means. It don't belong there. That's out of place. What's out of place? You don't get taxed on things like that. That's for that's for ministry business purpose. So it's not Louis Vuitton. Well, it's you can call whatever you want. Yeah. So June 2014, you spent thirty five hundred dollars at by Grandma Mai to Versace in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Yes? Uh, I'm sure that's right. If that's what and it shows me. And those were, so that was for clothing for you? Yes, probably. Yeah, yeah most likely. So you, you don't see that there's any problem when you're ministering to the poor, the sick, the needy, to be appearing in Louis Vuitton and Versace? Well, that ain't something I purchase all the time. Um, well, it looks like you did several you know, times in... Uh, I mean, I, I'm a very frugal person when it comes to this. I go to the right places to get a lot of suits. And if I get some from those places, you don't see that. You don't that see, bill. I don't see Macy's. No, you don't see that. Yeah, because Macy's don't have the kind of suits that I wear. But what I'm saying is this... These Louis Vuitton things, you don't see that in our charges all the time. 2013 mm -hmm. and 14, you spent over, Grandma Mai spent over $30,000 in your clothes. Does that mm -hmm. sound about right? Uh, wh what year was that? 13 and 14. Oh, God, yeah, that's because I was traveling so much it, and ended sweating through all my clothes. It, exactly. That probably wasn't enough because just I was so... But they have to be top of the line expensive ones. No, they're not top of the line clothes. Louis Vuitton's like not top of the line. Those not where I get my suits from. Well, you got something it from them for yeah. spent thousands and thousands. Well, the 
the belts are more lasting, so that's good. Come on, you're buying belts for five thousand dollars? No, I mean okay. multiple belts, not August two thousand and fourteen you went to the Gucci store in Troy and purchased something? Yeah, um what I was, was gonna that say be? it probably was a belt or maybe shoes. I, I don't belt know. Or shoes. But I don't usually buy my suits from these very expensive places. I just get the the things that I invest in will last longer, like such as belts. So you got to go to shoes. Gucci or places like hundred dollars for my shoes, clothing in New York. I don't. I'm not. <coughs> I don't know. I don't. Uh, you testified at your last deposition that JMMI owns three vehicles: a BMW, a Mercedes, and a Bentley. Yes. Have you driven those cars? Yes. With Michelle? No. We used to have a driver. The three cars that we talked about, in whose name are the titles? Um, they're in the ministry now. They're all in JMMI? I think everything except the Bentley. Whose name <coughs> is the Bentley in? Oh, it's in the Wynn McDill. I have a question, just from a... <laughs> You know, you, you minister to the poor and the sick and all that. It, it does it, d isn't it a little offensive to be driving around in a Bentley and a Mercedes to people that really, um, uh, you know, are impoverished and sick and ill and uh, AIDS and drug rehab? Isn't it a little offensive to sort of be um, showplacing yeah. what you have? Yeah. Everyone, I, I don't um, show place to people, and I'm I'm not well, in Bentley. that car. You don't see me driving around in that. That's for someone like you who's trying to make it bad, you know. But you know, so it's important to have a Bentley. It ain't really important. That don't make me. Then you also have um, a Land Rover that you lease. A uh, Range Rover. Range Rover. Yes, it's not a Land Rover, it's a Range Rover. Which is the better one, I don't even know. <coughs> I don't know. Um, They're just cars, I say. All right, then there's a series of documents that total almost $50,000 mm -hmm. um, to limo land mm -hmm. in 2013 and 14. <coughs> um, mm -hmm. You have to answer yes. In yes. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. What was that for? That uh, was to cut the Mercedes into a limo. It was to cut the Mercedes into a limo. And who needs that? No, that's for guests. It's for guests and for you. It's mostly when for you're guests. entertaining guests. Yes. When you're entertaining? Well, not. But when we had guests come in, I'd work out people. Mm -hmm. We, um, we have to have a limo. That way. Yeah, I have to have a limo, but. In, in a Mercedes limo. And we treat them. Yeah. You treat them? I say that we possibly have hospitality. Maybe that's a better word. <coughs> Okay, then and this is not the first one the ministry's had. We oh, had that's another the first Mercedes limousine. Oh. That's right. So, so you paid limo land almost fifty thousand dollars total. Almost fifty thousand. And that was to cut for what? To to make a limo. To cut the Mercedes into a limo. And, and you think that was a good use of the money that people donated to you? In JMMI? Well, I mean, the banks certainly um, have looked at that on our books as good because it has an appraisal value. The money for the purpose? No. The answer is yes. So in June of 2013, there's over $6,000 worth of charges to the Gucci Resort Hotel in Anaheim, California. Do you remember that? Yes. And did you go? Yes, I was there. Does JMMI pay any of your auto expenses? <coughs> uh, yes. And how much? Auto expenses. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know exactly how much. 
You don't know where she went? No. Who was the Board takes care of that. Who's uh, the board? You can ask Miss Shaw. She's another person who has worked with her. What about your housing? Does GMMI pay any of that? Yes. Mm -hmm. You get a housing allowance? Yes. And how much is that? Uh, I'm not sure. And do you report these uh, allowances as compensation on your tax return? Um, honestly, I don't know how all of that works. I have other people who does do that, so you can report to Michelle on that. Michelle does your taxes? No, I have other people do it, but she's over a lot of the, the financial aspect. When you say it's up to the board, now the board includes mm -hmm. Michelle? Yes. You? Uh, yes. And who else? Um, I'm not sure you can ask Michelle. You don't know who's on the board? Uh, totally. I would rather you get the accurate information because I don't want to be accused of answering falsely like I have been other times when I've tried to guess. So i just rather you, I'm telling you I don't know, just ask her. How many people know. are on the board? I don't know. Just You don't you know? No. Don't you have to have board meetings? Uh, yes, we do have board meetings. So don't, can you count around the table how many people <laughs> there are? Well, our board also grows at the same time. So I'd just rather you um, just get that information to me. The last time you had a board meeting was when? Um, I was on the phone, I think, beginning. It's been the beginning of the year, in January. The year before last, if I'm not mistaken. 13. Yeah, so. Which child? Uh, Destiny. Your 18-year-old daughter? Yes. Mm -hmm. And was this done through Children's Protective Services? I think so, yeah. And what were the allegations? Well, that, um, that I had disciplined her because she skipped class 20 times and, and they felt me, um, my discipline measure of using a belt was abusive. So you <coughs> you used a belt in disciplining Destiny? I don't know if I can speak on that. Um, can I speak on this? Because um, my, my lawyer's phone won't. Um, I, not knowing this, the status of those proceedings. Uh, is it resolved? Is it all done? It, it's done. Um, I'm, I'm going to object to it. Well, let me know. just ask if it's okay. what the status is. No, I'm, I don't know. Right, I'm not asking you to say what you did. I'm just asking if the mm -hmm. allegations were that you disciplined your daughter with a belt and caused okay. uh, just you allegations. Know, you, you may have, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for counsel mm -hmm. to get back to me on that. What's the constitution? I'm not asking him to say what he did or didn't do. Mm -hmm. Anything you might need to otherwise be not considered to be a criminal or I think he's got a right I to speak with you. I think right. he can tell me what the allegations are. That is not privileged, well, Fifth Amendment, or otherwise. It is because he doesn't, if he doesn't know exactly what we're doing in the argument, it's Well, he's not privilege. saying that. I don't know. I mean, so it's a privilege. It's absolute. I mean, let's take it, you know, I don't know. I don't know who the lawyer is. He doesn't seem to know the condition of the matter. So to avoid any kind of drift, and I think maybe you, you might be concerned about it as well. Well, is this, is this, uh, Let me ask you, did this rise to the level of court intervention by the local court in um, St. Louis that, that does... Uh, don't speculate if you don't well, know. I, I please don't, don't know. testify for him. Well, I don't know. I'm, did you go I'm to court sure. on it? Um, what court would he... Any be? court. Did you ever go to any court about these allegations that you disciplined Destiny um, for the the belt? So with the... Fa with family court, we yeah. normally 